Uh, hey guys, it's TechGeekHD here from the TechGeekHD channel. Uh, and before I start this video, I would like to thank Mr. Tech Agent for allowing me to do this video here on his channel. We had a great idea that we would do a video on each other's channels, and here's mine. So the video that I have today is to introduce myself, and that is my desk tour, which in my opinion is one of the best ways to introduce someone uh, and the way that they work in a technology-based channel. Now starting off to the left, or rather right, of my desk, I do have my framed photograph of the late Steve Jobs. And on the left of my desk here, I do have my left channel speaker from my 2.1 setup. Now, I really do enjoy using this 2.1 setup because I do love the subwoofer and the amount of bass uh, it provides, but the 2.1 setup does work great for me and I would definitely recommend it. And moving on to the right of my speaker, I do have the main attraction to my desk, which is my 24 inch full 1080p HD monitor made by Dell. Now, this is essentially the same variant that Mr. Tech Agent uses, uh, but the 24 inch version, while he uses the 21.5 inch version. And and as you guys can see, it is a very, very glossy display, so that's why I've had to actually move my entire desk to the other side of the room, uh, so that I wouldn't have the sun glare coming in from the back, which basically renders the monitor useless, even though it does get pretty bright. Now at the top of the monitor, I also do have this little Logitech webcam, because my uh, MacBook is to the right, and so when I'm chatting with someone, or having a Google Hangout, or something like that, it's rather awkward, uh, because then they see me from the side. Now this is not HD or anything, it's basically a very bad webcam, but it's the only one that I had lying around on hand and so I decided to use it as part of my setup. Now underneath my monitor I also do have my Blue Lounge Milo stand which I use for propping up mobile devices when making uh, YouTube videos. Uh, underneath that I also do have a pair of glasses uh, which basically I wear every single day. Uh, and to the left of that I also do have this little YouTube notepad which is very useful when scribbling down ideas for new YouTube videos. To the right of my monitor, underneath it, I also do have Andy the Android guy, which does keep me company when I'm working at my desk. And right behind him, I also do have my 50mm uh, Nikon Nikkor uh, f1.8 prime lens. This is a really nice lens which provides a great depth of field um, and shallow depth of field when making videos and taking photographs. Now the keyboard that I use is just the generic Apple wireless keyboard. It's really nice. Uh, I like the chiclet style design. It does let me type at a very fast pace uh, and I have been using it for quite a while and really enjoy it. Uh, now my main mouse of choice is the Logitech Performance MX. This is a very ergonomic mouse and that is basically the main reason that I really do enjoy using it is because of the way it contours and fits my hand perfectly. It also has a number of programmable buttons which work great on both Mac as well as uh, a Windows based platform and they're very useful um, for for multitasking and getting through your workflow at a quicker pace than usual. I would really recommend this mouse, and the only time I ever use my Magic Mouse is when this mouse is charging. Now moving on to the main attraction of my setup, my MacBook Air. This is the computer that I run off every single day, it's my main machine, and I use it as my desktop computer, and I also just unplug a couple of cables when I have to take it to school or something like that. This is the 13.3 inch 256GB solid state drive edition of the 2011 MacBook Air. I really do enjoy using it, it's a very speedy and fast computer and it is sitting upon the Griffin Elevator stand. Uh, this is a very nice stand, it works with both Windows and Mac computers. It doesn't really have any sort of uh, specifications besides for the fact that your computer has to be larger than 10 inches. For more information on this, visit my channel and type in Griffin Elevator and something should pop up. Now, it is also sitting upon my Xbox 360. Now, I recently switched from a PlayStation 3, and I never ever think that I'm ever going to go back. Now, I know a lot of you might be thinking, well, why didn't you just get the Xbox One? And that is simply because I'm not a big fan. I'm going to wait for a couple more iterations of it to come out, because so far, the Xbox One hasn't really showed me anything that I would be majorly uh, impressed by. Now, to the right of that, I also do have my external 500GB Seagate hard drive. Now, I basically use this for backups as well as storing video files because they are pretty big and it would take up a lot of space on my MacBook Air's 256GB solid state drive. Now, I also do have this little remote uh, for some lights that I have installed behind my desk. As you guys can see, of course, they do change color, etc. And they do basically look a lot better at night, but I thought I'd show you guys uh, just for the fun of it. Now, basically, guys, that does conclude this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, it would be awesome if you guys could leave this video a like rating. And for more, for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much, much more, please do remember to visit my channel, the link to which is in the description below. I actually do currently have a giveaway going on on my channel, which I'm sure a lot of you might enjoy. If you do, it'd be great if you guys could stop by and maybe even subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.